Hi guys, welcome to Abjeda. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add Tailwind to a SvelteKit app. Um, now, I'm not going to introduce what is SvelteKit and what problem it solves. I would like you to check it out on your own. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show how you can add Tailwind uh, in an easy way uh, because there are some problems with adding the default way uh, and setting up how to purge Tailwind on build. So I'm going to show you how you can do it uh, with just a command. All right. Now I'm going to create a SvelteKit instance. Um, I'll install it in my uh, computer. Now here I'm going to create a new folder. I'll call it Tailwind. And inside I'm going to have a terminal and I'll paste this command. Now I have to give a directory name at the end of it. But since I want it here, I'll just have a dot here so that uh, the files will be downloaded to this folder. Now it is asking me whether I want to use a template. No, I don't. I want the client skeleton. No, uh, ESLint, no, Frontier, no. And yeah, I have those files. Now after this, you will have to, um, if you want to initialize Git, you can. Uh, I'll just uh, do npm install. You can do that with npm i. Uh, once this installation is complete, you will have to run the app. Now let's see how the app looks like. npm run dev and it's opened here. I'll go back to this. Yeah, this is the uh, app that is running localhost 3000. Now, uh, how to add Tailwind. So there is a repository called Svelte add where you can add uh, features incrementally to your Svelte app uh, without breaking anything. That, that is the that is the idea though. So we have Tailwind here. So the command for that is here npx Svelte add Tailwind CSS. So I just have to uh, run this uh, one second. I'll just open a new terminal and I'll place it here and i'll paste the command uh, if you cannot see it i'll just zoom in there is the command and run okay all right uh, it says i will have to run npm install to install all the dependencies i'm gonna do that i will also open this in uh, in code uh, in just a second All right, so I'm gonna open it here. Okay, so I'll zoom in. All right, so it has created few files for us like the Tailwind configuration, and I think it will change a few things as well here. Yeah, this one, app.postcss, these were not there. Um, so let's see what it has done. Uh, I will just uh, rerun this app. Okay. Uh, internal error something happened here hmm. okay so i'm gonna delete this maybe and try it again okay it's running uh, i'll go back to go back here refresh uh, nothing really changed so I'll go back to this index. Uh, this is what this is what it is showing there. Okay, it has applied a style text blue, but it's not showing up here. Mm. Okay, what could be the, the problem? Okay, I'll change few things. Uh, H1 web you know. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, now it is applying, I think. I'll have a class of, uh, I'll have font as bold, uh, color to be indigo, something like this. Let's see, yeah. So uh, we are getting it. We are um, right away getting this uh, Tailwind styles. We'll also have a division here. And 
I have text center. And then I'll have a button of the, as well. Uh, click. Okay, so I'll have a class for this. Uh, just to see whether everything works. PG Indigo Android. Uh, I'll have a horror style also. Indigo 700. And then uh, I can make the text to be white. I can have it rounded. Uh, then what? That should be enough. So I'll have a padding. Yeah. Uh, rounded is not applied. I'm not sure why. Okay. Rounded. Yeah. I have the button here. So yes. Um, so this is how you can uh, use Tailwind. And another thing is it will be purged uh, if I go back here and npm run build um, it will build it in dot svelte folder uh, once it builds I can check that out okay uh, it says no adapter specified you can you can check that out what are adapters and how you can use it if you just want a static site you can use a static adapter now I'm gonna go back here and check swell folder build and uh, here I can find the CSS uh, okay so I don't know if it is built the CSS chunk for us okay I don't find it here that's okay here it is it's actually in client and app uh, output client app now this CSS is not the one uh, the one inside page this should be the one yeah so this is the file and it's not pretty bigger maybe it's around 5 KB of uh, size and I have added indigo styles here let's see if it is there yeah so there are two indigo 500 uh, and indigo 700 colors that I applied to this uh, you know button and h1 that is there so yes so it has purged the you know, CSS so it will take care of everything so the way we added tailwind is just with one command uh, and it starts working so you don't have to mess around anything there okay um, all right guys uh, try SwellKit uh, with tailwind and hit thumbs up if you liked it bye